2024. This year, we are going to do things right. I've been doing it wrong all along. If you've been watching my channel, you already know. Since 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, the last four years, my boat has only been operable for about one of those years. If you take all the two months here, two months there, two months there, only about one year was I actually running this boat, which has led to lack of content, me doing some really stupid stuff to try to make some content, and overall just me trying to find a reason not to jump off of a bridge. But things are different now, and I'm gonna show you. And I actually had a very good omen come. It, it blessed me with the new year. Let me show you the good omen before I give you the boat updates, but she's doing good. She's ready to go. We're actually about to drop her in the water, but let me give you the good omen. Look at all the kayakers. All right, there's about a hundred kayakers, so I guess that hasn't changed, but the good omen is, and I don't know if you guys can see this, there are thousands of pilchards, the best bait you can get in the Florida Keys, thousands of them, Right here, right there. Oh my God, there's so many of them. They're like this big, they're huge. I'm trying to bring my camera as close as you can, but you probably can't see them, but they're down there. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. I might even throw my cast net on them in a second so we have some good live bait. But before we catch bait, we need to put the boat in the water. And speaking of bait though, I do have a project in mind where I'm gonna put a big live bait thing in the water so I can catch live bait, keep them in there, always have them ready to go. We're doing it right this year. Now with the boat, I've had so many issues with the boat that all came, well, let's see, I, I had a new engine put on the boat, so it was in the shop for like six months. Then I finally got my boat back and transom cracked, went back in the shop for about eight months, had the dive platform put on, had the transom closed, had just a bunch of work done to the boat, got the boat back, ran great for a few months after that. Then I started having some serious engine issues, which nobody was able to fix until I figured out the fuel issue. It was a bad fuel intake line. So I fixed all the fuel intake lines. Those are running good now. I got all new bilge pumps in there. Everything's brand new. Lights are new. Navigation lights are new. Everything got rewired in here. I mean, just some excellent wiring job. Everything is sparkling. She runs great. I had a new NEMA cables put to the engine. Mm. There is nothing wrong with her anymore and she's ready to be a fishing machine. So let's drop her in the water and go from there. All right, rocks removed. And then of course, you know, we have the beautiful TRX. So not only is my boat working, but the Range Rover has been retired. And now we have a brand new TRX. 702 horsepower, that's damn sure never let me down. We'll go ahead and back her in. We have a low tide today. Make sure the parking brake is on. We're gonna go ahead and un... We have our oh shit rope. And one of you guys told me I should tie it to the trailer. That was some really good advice. I think a couple of y'all actually told me to do this. So there you go. So now as it slides in, the trailer will catch the boat. You guys are the best. There we go, ready to drop in. <laughs> All right, she is ready to slide off. So I'm just gonna keep the truck here. You know what I love about a truck is I can just jump off my rock right onto the back of the truck. And right from the back of the truck, guess what? I can jump right onto the boat. <laughs> okay, that is a bit of a leap of fate, but I'm a leap of fate kind of guy. <laughs> All right. All right, we untied ourselves. Let's see if we can't drive her off of the trailer. Engine looks good. Everything looks fantastic. All right, turn on for me, baby. You have no idea how much that would mean to me. Let's give it a twirl. Woo, she turned on right away. And let's give her some gas and see if she'll uh, come off of the, the trailer here. Oh, what's going on here? I had a low 
oil alarm going off so why don't we put on some xd50 in that bad girl yeah she's a thirsty one that's that is one one thing about her i got your oil i'm coming i'm coming <laughs> Woo. all right let's fill her up mm-hmm mm-hmm only the best for my sweetheart i'll give you a whole gallon how about that All right, she turned on perfectly. Now that she's got a mouthful of oil, now she's gonna wanna drive off perfectly, I bet. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh my God, she's got some horsepower. Damn, I probably should have put the trailer a, a little deeper in the water, but I just manhandled her right off of that sucker. <laughs> and I don't regret it at all. That was great. <laughs> I pulled the trailer sideways. <laughs> oh my God. Incoming. Oh, yeah. Ooh, girl, you looking so good. Damn, I forgot how, I forgot how good you looked. <laughs> Let me tie you off. Wow. Yeah, who needs a girlfriend, right, when you got one of these? Everything's running good. Look, she's holding a perfect 500 RPM or 490. She should be holding like 490, 500. Oh, that perfect idle, like she's premium. All right, pulled the trailer out. Give her a little wash down. I may have not completely thought this through because when I gassed the boat up and all that, um, let me turn her off. I think I scared all the pilchards away. That was supposed to be my bait. I'm sure they're still around here somewhere. You know, the weather isn't optimal today. We have very overcast. It looks like it might storm, but I really want to make a New Year's fishing video. They're hanging out under the boat. And I can't throw my cast net on that. So I, I should have cast netted the bait before I put the boat in the water. But um, yes, so this could be a little difficult. The sun is going down. I have maybe an hour to try to catch a fish. I already got my fishing pole on the boat. Now we just need bait and we're good to go. So I'm gonna grab my net. The pressure is building. Temp number two, I got like five pilchards that try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one more try. I just saw some swimming around. Where'd they go? They were literally. Well, turned out they were at the back of the boat. Check it out, I even caught a, uh, caught myself a grunt. All right, we got some bait, check it out. There's a, uh... Some of them are pretty big. That's like a six inch, um, no, like a five inch. So I don't have that many baits. I have like, like seven or eight pretty good ones. That should be plenty. I really don't have much time to fish. So we're gonna be using the PC Fun Carbon X 4000. A big shout out to PC Fun for being a big sponsor of this channel, even through the tough times I've been having. Uh, you can get 18% off with my code on their website, sffc18 at pcfun.com. Links in the description, go support them. This is also their braided line I have on here. And I have about three feet of 15 pound fluorocarbon leader line going to the South Florida Fishing Channel weighted hook. And we'll be hooking the pilchards on that and cast them around and see if we can't catch something. But let's turn on the boat and see if she moves. And for the record, I was gonna keep trying to catch some more bait, but I caught this blue crab and he is a very, very mean one. He tried to bite me several times already. So I'm just gonna let him hang out in here and calm down. And once I get back, I'll untangle him out of this mess. But yeah, that's a feisty little blue claw. Actually would be good bait, but I don't get too many blue claws back here. So I like to release them so they can hopefully reproduce. And one day I'll have a nice Blue claw, blue claw population back here in my backyard for my own personal taking. Mm. But that won't be today. All right, let's turn, turn on the ship. Whoo, turned on, first crank, running great. Let's turn on the electronics and it's showtime. Untie her, matey. I am the captain and the mate, all in one. I'm a package deal. 
and give her a nice kickoff for me, mate. Yes, sir, Captain. Okay, hopefully we make it back to the dock. Everything sounds good, looks good. Let's catch a damn fish. All right, boys. Yeah. What up, dog? About to go out and do some fishing. I saw your boat, but your boat but I recognize it from finally. Yeah, hell yeah, I finally got it back on the water. Yeah, well, I've been watching your channel for like three, four years now. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Right. Hell yeah. Have a good one. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's go. I think I'm gonna do some fishing right over here. Did you guys see the jet skiers? There's a couple of jet skiers on yellow jet skis and they came up to me and they told me they love my videos. Made me feel pretty good about myself. You know, I love it. You know, if you're a fan, you see me, you know, come up, say what's up. You know, I appreciate the, uh, the love. Now what I'm gonna do is, let's see, we are in 10 feet of water, pretty shallow. And there's these pilings out here. I call this my oh shit piling because if I've gone fishing all day long offshore and I haven't caught anything, on the way in, I'll stop at the, uh, the oh shit piling and try to put something in the box. So right now I'm just seeing how the current is going and it looks like we're moving this way. So I think I'm gonna throw the anchor like right over there so that way the butt of the boat goes right up to these pilings here and they hold snapper and there's these pilings are all over the place there's one there there's one over there there's one over there there's one over there and just any piling in 10 20 feet of water near land seems to seems to hold fish so let's anchor up and i'm doing what you're not supposed to do the you should not drive your boat with its loud engine right past the piling before you go anchor up on it because i think it makes the fish a little wary so i just kind of screwed myself and i don't know why i just always do exactly what you're not supposed to do that seems to be like my special move if i was a yeah but anyways i'm gonna try to get anchored up here uh, this right here is my brand new anchor. Well, actually, it's my old anchor, but I got new chain on it, which I haven't set up correctly, because if you know, you're supposed to tie the chain on here and all that, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. That right there is 400 feet of anchor line, and I bought a whole bunch of anchor line because I want to uh, do some deep, deep water anchoring. That's gonna be in a video coming out. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is the beginning of the end of bad fishing and the beginning of epic fishing. All right, we got some fish in there. They're looking all right. I forgot to put on the live wall, but. So I'm anchored now with the piling right behind the boat exactly where I wanted to be. And I can just cast my bait right to that piling. So let's go ahead and do that. All we need is one fish. Oh my God. It's it's five o'clock, the sunset is like 5.30. I, I barely got enough time here. So we'll try to make something happen here as fast as possible. I almost had him. Come here, buddy. Ah! Got him. I grabbed the biggest bait. Might as well start with the biggest one. Let's see, do I want to hook him in the tail? No, I'm going to hook him in the mouth. There we go. Big juice ball on the weighted yellowtail hook. Give him a nice cast right to it right to the piling oh my god that was beautiful and uh that's it boys now we wait for a bite i feel good about this i feel very good about this come on baby i think something's messing with him he's getting nervous this could be it this could be it boys oh yeah take it take it take it i think something might have slurped him up did i lose my bait what's going on here Oh, I, oh, something bit him. Look at that. Something took a bite out of his back. He got chomped. There's a, there's a creature down there. We're gonna get him. 
Oh, that was a good cast. You know, this piling usually has a bunch of snapper on it, but it seems a little dead today. Now, when you find yourself in these situations, you have to start changing things up. So I'm gonna start like bumping my bait up and down off the bottom. Sometimes if the fish are being a little lazy, that'll kind of turn them on. They'll see your bait bouncing around and it'll entice a bite. I only brought one fishing bowl. I probably should have brought two. That way I could have just chucked one out on a snapper rig. And uh, damn, you know, I, I wasn't thinking. I was just so excited to get on the water. <clears throat> Another good cast. All these casts, uh, <laughs> I, this bait's starting to look a little dead. It reminds me of that one meme where it's like, after you've casted your bait for the 30th time with that guy falling in the water dead. It's kind of how I feel right now. Oh, do I have a fish? Thought I did. Okay, my fish is not looking too healthy. He does not look good at all. Yeah, he is dead dead. Try casting over here. Getting a nice little workout in here. So a good rule of thumb, if you ain't getting bit after like 10, 15 minutes, you know, unless you're chumming heavy and you're yellowtailing and you want to let the, you know, you want to chum for like 30 minutes. But if you're just using live bait like I am right now, if you don't get a bite in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it's time to go to a different spot. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Oh, what do you know? Someone took my bait. Yep, there is no bait on there. Well, whatever it was. I'm gonna try a different spot. I'm running out of time, so I only got time for one more spot, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this will be it. Well, I drove over the my mark, and I'll be honest, <laughs> it didn't look like there was any fish on it. But sometimes, sometimes when you go over a spot and you don't mark any fish, you'll be surprised that there actually is fish. So still, it's worth. Oh, ah, I'm on. Oh, no. Come back, come back. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Eat it, eat it. Okay, I'm gonna open the bale. I'm gonna let him have it. Take it, take it, take it. Yes, I'm gonna set the hook. Oh, okay. We definitely have some fish activity here. Some fish-tivity. Did it eat my bait? Oh, what is this? It ate my bait and it left me with a shell. Oh, I've been rascaled. All right, that's, what? That's a good sign. All right, so I, I'm i actually gonna go back over the spot and throw the anchor this time because I did not throw the anchor. I wasn't sure if there is fish or not. That's another tip is if you're not sure if there's fish or not, just drift over the spot, throw a bait out. If you get slammed, then you know, all right, anchor up, it's a good spot. Um, that way you don't waste too much time. Sometimes anchoring can be a pain, but I'm gonna anchor up because that was a great bite we just had. That was a solid bite. Okay, I'll toss the anchor right here. Hi -ya! <laughs> okay. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo! Let's catch a damn fish. Okay, those I already used my two biggest baits, so now I'm down to my little baits, and I didn't bring my little uh, net to scoop them with, so. Yeah. Come here, come here, got him. I'd be a good pelican the way I catch these things. All right, bait going out. Big dreams, big dreams. Oh, I'm getting nibbled, I'm getting nibbled already. This time I'm ready. He's getting attacked, he's very nervous. He's twitching all over the place. There's definitely something on his tail. Wow, check it out, a cigarette boat just hauling by. Damn, thing had five engines on its back. All right, what's going on here? Oh no, I've been stolen. Oh man, I don't have enough baits to, to upkeep this kind of a robbery, you know? Ah, got one, all right. This is a much smaller bait, so let's see what happens. And I'm gonna hook them in the tail this time. 
There, a smaller one tail hook. Let's see if that makes the difference. So what I'm fishing now is, there's just a little pile of rocks here. And I was driving one day and I was sitting up in the tower and I just saw the pile of rocks from the tower and I just marked it. So there's tons of piles of rocks all over the keys. You can see them from the satellite imagery. That's actually a really good way to find spots to fish. You can see like the pile of rocks just all along the coastline. Come on, baby. Oh, he's, he's twitching, something's after him. Yeah, 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 come on. Did I lose my, don't, don't even say it. Don't even do this to me. Oh, I lost another bait. I can't let my first video of 2024 end with a, a skunk out. Wow, I am getting good at catching bait though. I don't want to have to eat another bait fish. I don't know if you guys saw one of my last videos, but I ate a bait fish, okay? I would like to not repeat that. Okay, I have 10% battery left. Let's make something happen. No. No, 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 I lost another bait. I think I'm gonna start hooking them in the head again because they're just, they're coming off tail hooks. All right, hooked in the head this time. Bring me the bacon. Oh, I'm getting bit. Yeah, take it, take it. Come on, just take it. It's gotta be, oh, I think it took it, it took it, it took it, it took it! Ah! <sighs> Try to set the hook, come back for it. No. I'm getting robbed blind. I should have brought my snapper rig. I think this snapper rig would work very well right now. Oops. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to drop you there. Hoi-yo. Ah. Ooh, I'm getting nibbled. Just swallow it. Just to slurp it down. All right, it's a free meal. Oh, oh, here we go. Two good thumps. Uh, kind of feels like a snapper. Here we go. It got it. It got it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Wait, did I did I get it? No, I didn't. Oh, these got to be small fish. If these were like decent sized fish, we wouldn't be having this problem. It'd be like instant hookups. But whatever it is, it's yeah. There it is. It's it's pecking at it again. Yeah, feel, yeah, I think my bait's gone. Hmm. I'm gonna stand up here to get a more aerial angle, you know, tactical angle. I think that's probably gonna help. Also a good chance I'm gonna fall in the water, but it's all good. Ooh, tactical throw. I'm liking this, I feel good about this. There are pretty much nothing in my way now of catching a fish. Oh, I'm on! No! Dude, that is depressing. That is depressing. Did I lose my bait? <laughs> I lost my bait. I think I'm down to three baits. Two, I got like two or three baits left. <sighs> All right. Ooh, what's this? This is a little pinfish. Maybe that's what I needed all along, just a little pinfish. Or a, wait, is that a mahara? That's a mahara, not a pinfish. I, I haven't been fishing so long, I barely know my fish species anymore. All right, another tactical throw. We got the Mahara out. Let's make something happen. I got 15 minutes left to fish. You know, I feel good about this. That last bite was a nice bite, so there's definitely something out there. Maharas seem to be a hit or a miss for me. Sometimes I can't get a single bite on them and sometimes I get some real good bites on them. The pilchards to me are just like a consistent, they always get eaten. So they're my favorite. Maharas are kind of just a, I could be wasting my time right now, but you don't know till you try. Yeah, the Mahara doesn't, not even a nibble. I, it seems like, yeah, nothing wants it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Mahara off. Swim free, my friend. Such a nice guy. <laughs> All right, let's get a pilchard. 
We have two, two, three, no, two. No, oh, no, one. We got one pilchard left. Oh boy. Last pilchard. Dream big. Oh yeah. Okay. This is it. The last bait. This is what it comes down to. Something just grabbed it. Come back for it. Please, please, please. Please, this is my last bait. Come back for it. Is he on? I think I got a fish on. I got something. I got a fish with the last bait. Please stay on, please stay on. Oh, it feels good. I mean, it doesn't feel crazy big, but. <laughs> oh, it's a snapper <laughs> with the last bait. No way. Oh, that's a healthy looking snapper. Oh, look at that. Mangrove snap. Oh, I shouldn't put my finger so close. We all know what happened last time. Oh, he swallowed that. Okay. Um, all right. Whoo. I feel good. Uh, I don't have a measuring device on the boat. <laughs> of course, I don't have a measuring device. Wow. Look at that, guys. The last bait. I'm stoked. Well, we are in South Florida state waters, which means this fish only has to be 10 inches and he's probably about 12 inches. He's a keeper, but I kind of want to go after big fish. You know, the South Florida fishing channel, I want, I want to start catching some big juice balls and I really want this to be a catch and cook episode, but I think I'm going to let him go to start the year off right and just go for big fish you know snappers let's 14 inches plus you know let's let the little ones go oh this kind of hurts doing this because it's been a while since i've had some good fresh fish but oh he swam away so beautifully so softly as if he knew that that i had that bond with him you know i think i think he's gonna come back get bigger and he's gonna come back all right for the final engine turn on let's make sure she turns on good all right, she's up and running. And uh, back home we go. Woo wee. back at the house the boat is working and that's good news what a way to start off 2024 i've been thinking hard about what i want to do this year and i think we're gonna do it hard we're gonna do it back how we did it in 2017 2018 when i was just cranking out content taking the boat out sometimes 12 13 days in a row offshore just having a good time catching fish learning new stuff we're back baby everything is seeming to come together at this point and now it's just kind of time to have some fun so if you're still watching this video all the way at the end thank you for all your support leave a comment let me know what you guys want to see and i'm going to start making a list of uh trips and stuff i'm going to put together i think i want to focus a lot on some patchery fishing because i get a lot of requests for that and uh yeah till next time guys cheers mm -hmm.